Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to give you a little more information about our pattern, Flipping Out. Let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you will need to make these handy cases. The pattern recommends that you use two fabrics for the cases, a main fabric for the exterior and a lining fabric for the interior, the gusset, and the bottom bindings. Just a fat quarter of each fabric will make the small case. To make the large case, you'll need a half yard of each fabric. Directional fabrics will work for this project, though when the top is folded down, the interior fabric will be upside down. Please review the add-on video for more information before choosing all your fabrics. Using By Annie Soft and Stable for the cases gives great body and stability and enables you to use any type of fabric. We especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. You will need just 11 by 16 inches of soft and stable for the small case, so a pre-cut piece from a project pack will be perfect. For the large case, you'll need a 15 by 24 inch piece, so we recommend purchasing a half yard package. With careful cutting, that will be enough to make both the large and the small case, with leftovers for another case or two. Since the fabric on the exterior of the case isn't quilted to the interior, we also recommend that you use a bit of fusible interfacing to interface the body exterior. Zippers are used to open and close the cases. We recommend that you use handbag zippers from Biani.com. Their wider width makes installation easy and you'll love their extra large slides. Each case uses only one side of the zipper tape and one slide, so one 40 inch double slide handbag zipper will make both cases of either size. If you are making only the small, a 24 inch single slide zipper with an extra slide will make two cases. The pattern and add-on video include complete instructions for attaching the zipper slide. Two mesh pockets on the inside of the cases, one on the gusset and another on the back, help to organize tools and supplies in the cases. Biani's lightweight mesh is available in 14 fun colors and is packaged in a half yard package. The piece measures 18 inches by 54 inches. One package will make several cases. Here's a tip. Cut small pieces of all the colors of mesh that you've collected. When you're ready to pick mesh for your project, lay out the pieces to audition colors. Sometimes the one you think is the obvious choice gets bumped by something completely different. The mesh pockets are bound with fold-over elastic, which stretches along with the mesh. It also adds a pop of color and is extra easy to attach. My Annie's Fold Over Elastic is also available in 14 fun colors and is packaged in a two yard package, which is enough to make pockets for several cases. You can coordinate the fold over with the mesh or use a contrasting color to liven things up. We keep pieces of fold over elastic on a ring to make it easy to audition colors. An optional ribbon border may be added to the outside of either case. We love using ribbons from Renaissance Ribbons for this border. Their decorative ribbons are available in a variety of widths and many gorgeous designs. It's fun to find something that will complement the fabric. You can use one ribbon or a combination of ribbons to create the perfect embellishment for your case. Finally, you'll also need some thread to match the fabrics. Stitching will be visible on the main fabric, the coordinating fabric, the zipper tape, and the fold over elastic, so we suggest gathering threads to coordinate with all. We use and recommend Superior Threads So Fine Number 50, a 50 weight polyester thread. Once you've purchased the flipping out pattern, be sure to visit byannie.com and use the unique coupon that came with your pattern to get the add-on video that we filmed for the project at no charge. This helpful video series will give you an overview of the project so that you get off on the right foot. It will also cover the steps to create the bias binding, prepare and attach the zipper, attach the gusset and finish the zipper, and finish the bottom of the body and attach the base. The flipping out pattern is fun to make and offers a great opportunity to learn some new skills. 
Two ways to stabilize fabrics using Soft and Stable, including when and why to use each. How to prepare bias binding so that it's easy to bind small circular pieces. How to install a zipper using just one side of the tape and how to easily attach the zipper slide. And how to assemble the cases. You'll also practice some skills used in many other Biani patterns. How to work with mesh and fold over elastic as you prepare the pockets how to attach the pockets to the body, and how to shape the body. We can't wait to see what you make, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube by using at Patterns by Annie. You may also email photos to us at marketing at If you liked this video, please give us some feedback by clicking on the like button below. Remember to hit the subscribe button too so you're sure to be notified when we post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stitching!